honestly, I think that no healthcare worker should ever not have available the personal protective equipment that they need to be able to go and do their job and save lives. <laughs> like, I can still, I still have nightmares about what it was like rushing home and shouting through the letterbox that like the kids should not come and touch me because I needed to completely take all my clothes off and jump in the shower. And I'm still here to tell the tale. But we lost colleagues. We have black and Asian colleagues who were the wrong colour and were not given the PPE when there was a bit and it was rationed. We shouldn't be in a situation where we're rationing PPE. That is, that is heartbreaking. And I want us to never be in a situation again. But more broadly, I never want to meet a single relative ever again in A&E who has brought their elderly relative to A&E because they can't cope at home. If mine was no object, I would want a truly joined up health and social care system that... <laughs> where we value our elderly community, the people who have given everything for us to enjoy the lives that we have today, where we value them as much as we value our children.